got the solenoids there each side and another side another four and um, what's happening here is continuously tilting to the left on his own which means that solenoid is actually does get power and keep it open um, and I think because so much grease and crap and the amount of rain we had lately it's been parked up stretched out so all the all the water from the arm can just actually come in here and there is the control unit for the electronics right there um, it might be just uh, short in there so first of all what I'm gonna do is got a pressure washer out I'm gonna give it a good 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 clean that what it was simply simply build up a lot of grease and dirt to give it a good clean I pull the solenoids off get a good a bit of uh, movement all works fine well it's going in the <coughs> truck dumper we try to keep most of the stuff on the dumper so we don't have to run back and forth with the digger and leaving stuff behind once we finish this whole thing Concrete. Well, we waited a bit too long. What happened is because it's <coughs> this, <coughs> this end of the job is so sandy and wet, by the time we got the holes done and the post in and everything else these holes filled up with not water but wet sand and because of that we can't align them to our string line anymore and we can't put any concrete around it either so that first five four we actually have to re-drill it and we have to uh, have to um, concrete it straight away as we go otherwise otherwise we won't be able to do that Push for Rob while he's uh, while I'm here. That's all you need. Eh? He's happy now. He can go home. Well, not, not quite just yet. <coughs> Anyway, it's so okay to pick up that collar if I can. I can. Well, we are making progress here.
<laughs> Run out of concrete. So, uh, for the time being, we clean up the area what we've done so far. Get it away. Here, gonna do some servicing on this. Donkey. So we got quite far with it. We got the first board in, which is going to be underwater, and we will carry on from here on Monday. We've got to park up, pick up some parts for the 280. So Saturday in the yard, playing with the 280. So um, I've got to fix the aircon whole thing. Um, so the actual bracket, which is that thing, um, well, I don't know what the previous owner did with it. Well, probably the bolts are loosed up or changed it or something. And we never, we never looked at it. He never looked at it. Bolts have fell out. And it's got two here, one, two, and another two small ones. Actually, these ones here. One here and one here. Now, so there's four boards holding the, the actual bracket, which your pump mounts to, um, onto the engine block. So three out of four is snapped in. However, I managed to get it apart, I managed to get the studs out, um, but the bolts are snapped in, which is, you can see that's all the way in now. We are too short here. So um, I gotta go and buy some new bolts. There has to be 80 mil long. And she's going into here. Oh, let me just get up there. It was a f fun job to get the out, get that out. So, uh, as you see, I retapped two of them. Well, I retapped pretty much all of them, but I managed to save two of the original threads, uh, so which is this one and that top one here. And I got new thread in this one and this one, as you can see, the size difference between the two holes. That's a bigger one, it's a smaller one. So, anyway, it'll be fine. I don't know how the previous owner didn't notice that it was just rattling here. As you can see, it's actually caught that board there, chewed it. It's not, it's not damaged as such, it's just a board head. Uh, but anyway, it's just crazy. Some people don't care. Anyway, we get her, we get her better, and we go from there. I go get some bolts. So I got the bad boy on. I got the bracket on. Got new bolts. Two right there. One here, and then this one oversized. All went up really tight. It's very good. Very pleased with that. But I just noticed uh, something, so I just put the new, I put that on, and uh, the tensioner pulley, it doesn't line up with that pulley, which, you know, it's odd to me. I put the pump on, and the pump it lines up with that, it's just a tensioner pulley. For me, it's really odd. Uh, I mean, a tiny bit is okay, you know, a few, uh, one or two mil, I suppose the belly will take it, but that's way out. I mean, so uh, that's the original washer it was on. And it's just sits in there. Well, I'm not gonna wind it up all the way now, but anyway, it's it's it was way out. Um, so, uh, 
I've tried to back it out a little bit. So I put one of these on. So that's one and a half mil there. Put the original spacer in there and put another one on the outside. So I potentially now moved it over three mil. So I'm gonna put that back on if I can. Plenty of plenty of threads on it, so it'll be fine. Okay, okay. Now the way is better. That way better. Way better. You can see. You can see it's still a tiny bit out, I think I would say a tiny bit, but it's definitely will work. That three mil we pulled it out made them much different. Okay, I'm gonna tie this up now. It's really hard to hold the camera and film and all that. Anyway. into the pump first because it's um, no room so take it back out all right I tie these up and I'll be back and there we have it lines are fine so there's a an autoist and it's possibly fell off and it destroyed everything here it's chipped that fully a tiny bit. I might look into get a new one, but for now I think it'll be all right. It's pretty sturdy here. Not much of an RPM here anyway. Um, anyway, the rest is all fucking cushy. Very nice. I really like it. It does line up pretty well. I like it. Much better than it was. Much better. Uh, I haven't hooked up the hoses for it. One of the hoses got destroyed, so that hose is fine, it goes in there. Um, but they kept off, kept off nicely from the factory. Um, so I don't want to open up one side and put that hose on because it'll be an open loop otherwise until I get the new hose done for the rest. Um, so that's the old one, let's see you later for that. Uh, we got a new fan and the fan belt and all the belts coming for it within two days something like that middle of next week anyway so for now I have to stop here before I start putting everything back on uh, the oil cooler so the whole reason to take everything all the radiators out of here is not just that uh, probably I would have done it anyway because it's no other way, it's just not enough room there when you actually want to get that salted, you know. Yeah. I had to dig out three broken studs from there. You would never do that when it's all back together. It's just not enough room there, you can't get to it. Anyway, so the oil cooler, which is this one, the hydraulic oil cooler, apparently got a lake on it. We're not sure. Uh, but we're gonna test it, so I'm gonna do that next. The test is pretty simple really. I'm gonna block one end off and put the compressor into another end. I'll pressurize it, put some bubbles over it. And we'll see if there's anywhere light. But I think first we gotta wash it. There's a tiny bit of oil left in it, obviously it stands up here. 
to that level, it's full of oil. So I'm gonna empty that and give it a good wash. Uh, I mean, you might think the lake is obvious, it's here, but that was actually kind of pretty much like that because it's the radiators stacked up from front of um, each other and dust just get trapped between them. So the pressure washer never get around here because it's another little cool the front of it when it's in the machine. Anyway, so it's, um, you know, not necessarily is a lake here. It might be just a build up there. But we'll see, we're gonna test it. So I did wash up the radiator and all the others, radiator, oil, um, intercooler, some panels, etc, etc. And I got the oil cooler here and I got, got some, I blocked off that and I got my little hole there so I can blow some air in there and uh, by the sound of it there is a lake somewhere down here I've got some bubbly water here visual damage on this radiator as such no I can't hear anything no I can't see anything I think it'll be fine right move on to the next bit I can't see any lake on that oil cooler which is a really good thing um, so like I said it's got <coughs> the side of the machine has got bashed in and I did some relief cuts and uh, welding these bolts on so I can hook up to it and pull it up out. I just did that here, I just relieved that here. Um, I'm gonna weld one here, pull that out and uh, just bash these down because that's the biggest problem we got here that is buckled up here. And it's got to be a straight line because that's very visible. The side is also, but um, that's the biggest problem. You know, I'm just going to pull it close enough so I can feel the rest and uh, paint it. So I'm going to play with that now. There we are. 
I ended up cutting this out, it's just too much stress in there and you just can't get to it. <clears throat> this way I can get the pry bar <coughs> behind it. <coughs> I'll show you. So, uh, here we are. I managed to get it quite good really. Still a bit of here in the bottom of it. That top line is pretty good. And that's, that's what's annoying here. I have to pull the house somehow. I might have to cut it a bit further up and further down. Or I might cut it this way, pull this out. Not quite sure. Quite a lot to do. Well, it's definitely yeah. working. That's, that's a good one, eh? So I just welded the shackle, put the pry bar through it. Prime it down and it pulls pulls that belly out. They're working. It's working. I think I'm gonna do that here and there. I'm mean, pretty much there, and then weld it up. It'll be fine. much there. The rest is gonna be a filler job again, I think. Yeah. I like it. Pretty much there. Yeah. 